population level of any insect in the given ecosystem is depends on two criteria that is their reproductive potential and the environmental resistance reproductive potential is otherwise called as the potential natality which means the ability of the insects to multiply in a given time in the absence of all the environmental resistance or it is the reproductive rate of individuals in an optimal environment where there is no struggle at all it is usually represented by the number of insect eggs or the number of female in an area it is also called as the biotic potential as it is the innate ability of the population to reproduce and survive so it depends on the inherited properties of insects such as the reproduction and the survival survival rate depends on the feeding habits and the protection of their young ones generally insects with high reproductive rate tend to have a low survival rate and vice versa that means the insect which is having the ability to lay more number of eggs having the less level of survival of the hatching all their young ones are the survival of all the young ones that is emerged from them as insect species with high reproductive rate and the low survival rate are called as or strategist the example of this is the aphids and there is another group that is called as the k strategies which reproduce slowly but effectively compete for the environmental resources and so their survival rate is higher as the k letter denotes the flattened portion of the growth curve the example of which is honey bees and the codling moth of apple which is having low reproductive potential or they reproduce slowly but there is a high possibility rate for their survival of young ones birth rate or natality is measured as the total number of eggs laid per female per unit time the factors that is determining this birth rate or fecundity fertility and the sex ratio in case of death rate or mortality denotes the number of insects dying over a period of time we can see one example of the single moth of yaris vitella it is the bendy fruit borer lays about 200 eggs per female life cycle is completed in one month so after one month the 200 adults lays 100 male plus 100 female eggs so the 100 females will again lay 200 eggs which will make 20000 eggs in which the 10000 will be female so in the next month that is in the second month the all the 10000 females will lay 200 eggs again which will be making 20 lakh eggs so after one year it will make the eggs somewhere around 2 followed by the 24 zeros just imagine the numbers if a single moth can produce this much they will cover 24.32 above earth surface in one year but in reality only a fraction of progenies complete the life cycle due to the environmental resistance so what is environmental resistance you would have already understood that so the environmental resistance is the physical and biological restraints that prevents a species from realizing its biotic potential in other words we can call the environmental resistance as the emadarma who is reason for the existence of all the living organisms in the planet in harmony this environmental resistance may be of two types that is biotic factors and the abiotic factors biotic factors consist of the competition of the interspecific and intraspecific level such as the same organisms and the different species organism will be competing for the same resource 
and the second one is the natural enemies that is the predators and parasitoids and the pathogens which is causing the disease to the insects. These are all the biotic components and in case of abiotic factors such as the temperature, light, moisture and water and the limited level of substratum and medium in the particular ecosystem determines the environmental resistance. What is the bio resources in the ecosystem? Ecosystem comprises of biological communities and the non-living environment like agro ecosystem and the pond ecosystem. Bio resources refers to the biodiversity of various organisms living in that ecosystem. Example, the different pests of cotton, its natural enemies, hyperparasitoids and the microbes which is going to affect them. So, the ecosystem should be more bioresourceful. Such ecosystem will be more stable. Insecticides will deplete the bioresources in the ecosystem, making it less stable and prone to pest outbreak like the insecticides that is killing the natural enemies and other competitors in the agro ecosystem making it prone to more pest outbreak in the particular area. So, the natural control will be high when the bio resources such as parasitoids and predators are more in the ecosystem. Even in the agro ecosystem that is created for our need and selfishness we can increase the level of bioresources such as the parasitoids and predators by going for most diversified cultivation rather than going for the monocropping or the extensive cultivation of the same species. With this, we are coming to the conclusion of the insect ecology. Let us move on to the question part. Find the right option or options from this question. Potential natality is birth rate, death rate, biotic potential or none of the above. Innate ability of insect to reproduce and survive in the absence of environmental resistance is biotic mortality, natality, birth rate or none of the above. K strategies are has more reproductive rate, more survival rate, less reproductive rate or none of the above. Natality is measured by number of males, number of females, number of eggs or number of larvae. Choose the right option or options. Arias Vitala is R strategist, K strategist, both of them or none of them. Physical and biological restraints that prevents a species from reaching its maximum potential is environmental resistance, biotic potential, natality or mortality. Bio resources that are more in agro ecosystem, natural ecosystem, agro forest ecosystem or none of the above. Comment the right answers below guys. See you in the next class. Until then, bye bye.